All right, this is a video tutorial for a friend of mine, uh, but because this video is going to go on YouTube, I'm not going to use his name because um, anybody can really learn from this. I'm uh, using, a, well, some people call it Scribus, but I pronounce it Scribus, and I'm using it in uh, Linux Mint. I'm not using Microsoft Windows on this, but I mean, this should be good for the Windows version anyway. Alright, I just simply took a picture from the internet of an owl, great horned owl flying, and we're going to put some text and stuff. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into insert, we're going to insert a shape, let's do an arrow, something simple, I'm just going to draw it out of here, and um, give it some properties or attributes we're going to go to properties here we can choose our color we want it to be a blue arrow green arrow we'll make it yellow to kind of get people's attention all right we can even change the line on it um we could change it to a dotted line you can see how it made a difference there um or another dotted line there and it'll just change the properties of that now we're going to add some text in here for this this article so we go to insert text frame just put our text here and then we're going to right click on this here and we're going to go to edit text now we're going to type in just something Alright, so I typed in this text that says, Check out his lordship as he flies through the sky. Now we got our font up here. I'm not going to use that font. And we're at 12 point. So we just highlight all this. Um, or you can control A. We're going to change the, the font over here. We're going to bring it to um, Deja Vu Sans Bold. Bold. Um, and then we're going to increase the size to uh, from 12 to maybe about 18 point. We click the checkbox here to update the text frame. There we go. There's our text there. Then we're going to, um, we want to give our text some color. Now if you just right click on it here and you go to properties and you go to colors and you apply a color to it, what will happen is the background will change instead of the text because it changes the text box. So we're going to go to none. We're going to give our text itself some color. So we right click on the text here. We're going to go convert to outlines. You see that option there? Convert to outlines. Okay, now that's done. Now we right click on the text again we can go to properties we can choose the colors now watch what happens when we choose green for our text the text itself turns green what if we want to add a color gradient which I like to do you can go to a vertical color gradient and you got one color over here and then another color over here you can give it more than two colors I'm going to make this color um, a nice um, red color. And there's what happens because we got red and green. Now we're going to make this green color, we're going to change it to um, yellow. So we got that there. And we can adjust it how much each color gets. Um, actually, we can do a lot of things here. Um, we can adjust 
how much each color gets and um, you see the effect that it has on the text there and uh, go to you get the arrows and then now you see the uh, the mouse cursor has the plus on it and another color to it and you can just change that and make it as long as you click on these arrows here you can assign them a color and uh, so we want to make this well we got black so that's just an example what you can do to change the text and all that you'll have to convert it to outlines and then you can you can still kind of adjust the size a little bit with this feature here but that's that this uh, tutorial for uh, Scribus and uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, there and you know it's an example